Here we are, people. It's the Port Washington Harbor. You can tell we're in Port Washington because of that. That's the power plant. I'm here, and I'm gonna try and catch king salmon. I don't even know if they're in the harbor. I'm assuming there's gotta be a few. But yeah, we're here. That's what I'm gonna take out in just a second. This isn't gonna be your normal Tifsa video. If you haven't noticed, I usually start the video with a fish because that, uh, you know, hopefully gets you quite literally hooked into the video. And I don't know if I'm gonna catch any. I'm gonna try something totally new. I'm gonna jig for king salmon. I've been watching a lot of videos on YouTube on how to do it, and I'll show you what I've learned, but I am not guaranteeing a fish catch. But I wanted to make a king salmon video this fall, because they're huge, and it would be super fun to catch one because these are the four-year-olds, the ones that are about to run up river. So, you now wish me luck. I'll go over what I'm doing and then maybe, just maybe, I'll catch one king salmon today. There's my electronics. I'm gonna get out of this, like, channel, if you will, where all the boats drive, and then look for fish on them. Now, the way that my life has worked out this fall is I didn't, this is it. This is going to be my one chance. My kids are in lots of school activities and sports and whatnot, and I just don't have time to target King Salmon. But I tell you what, man, if I were a person in Wisconsin that has time to fish at any time in September, this would be the month, man. You can go for sturgeon hook and line that is in the Wisconsin River during September and then the Kings are in the harbor in September and you can like jig for them instead of just trolling and driving around in circles this looks like a, a very fun active way to try and fish for King Salmon in September this is a cool month and then later in late September they come into the rivers and you can fish for them then there too I've done that and that's awesome, but this will be the first time where I'm going to jig for the kings. All right, let's do it. All right, time to set up the rod. Look at it. We got a bottom rig. It's because we were catching sturgeon just a little bit ago. So I'm going to switch this out and I'll show you what I was told for fishing, jigging for king salmon. First, let's cut this part off. All right, there. The first thing I told was put on a swivel under your braid. I have 10 pound braid. I was told probably 20 would be better or 15, but I don't have 20 or 15. So let's tie this swivel on. Next up, you've got your fluorocarbon line. I'm going to go with four feet. So yeah, there we go. This is 17 pound. All right, look at that. I tied on the clip just a clip because I already have a swivel here's I don't know yeah four feet fluorocarbon and there you go now we're set up now I need a jigging spoon I have a jigging spoon I am set up all right so here's what we do all right here's my jigging spoon you can see it that's it and I'm gonna drop it right down And then when it gets to the bottom, start twitching it. Right there, now it's at the bottom. You just snap, 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 and you follow it down. Snap. All right, there's your instructional. Will I catch a fish? Probably not. I'm getting pushed around. My anchor's not big enough. And I think rain's coming, but I'm gonna keep trying. My anchor really isn't holding me. I feel like I'm drifting forward, but I don't know. I guess I got a long way I could drift. We'll, we'll try that and then, you know, I'll pull up and then go from there. I think that was a two? I don't know. Maybe. That's my jigging spoon on my thing. See it zigzagging as I'm going like whack, whack. 
I'm snagged. There's some. I snagged to my anchor. Oh, I'm snagged to my anchor, I think. I gotta get that off. Oh, I'm not snagged to my anchor. Got it. Whatever it was. I think I got a big old piece of the bottom. Yeah. Caught a big piece of the bottom, people. Oh yeah. yeah. Driftwood. I know. We did catch something today. A big old piece of driftwood. Oh, look. <laughs> Somebody got in there too. Got somebody's flasher. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Look, I caught something today. Oh, geez. <laughs> did you see that one? I hope so. There is one. I'm gonna cast over there. Let's see why not? <laughs> there was a king. That definitely was a king. I don't know how much longer I can brave these conditions. Now it's starting to rain, and the wind consistently keeps pushing me towards the rocks. My anchor is not a strong enough anchor. They are in the harbor. If you're wondering why is it 76 here, well, that pushes out hot water. So. You know, the water in the harbor here is always warmer than what it normally would be. Nobody can say I didn't try to catch a king salmon in the harbor, that is, this year. Next chance, I'll be in the river, but no more trying in the harbor. Conditions just weren't right. This is the only day it worked out where I could actually try to fish for them. But man, that, that would be cool to jig up one. That would be nuts. <laughs> I can only wish, maybe next year. All right, thanks for watching. Push good buttons. If you ever do get a chance to jig for king salmon, it must be amazing to hook into one in the open water and then just fight forever with them. That would be amazing. All right, see ya.